Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Advanced Bio Tutorial. Today's topic is thermoregulation in camel. I have discussed this topic in advanced level by whiteboard animation. Before starting this topic, I want to say you something. That is, you should have some knowledge about the basic principle or the mechanism of the thermoregulation. That is, what is thermoregulation, what is thermogenesis, thermolysis, uh, what is the process of convection, conduction and radiation, and then vasodilation, vasoconstriction, etc. I have made a video on these topics. If you want to see that, then hit on the i button at the right corner of the top screen. But for your information, this video is private, everybody can see this. Let's start the topic. Thermoregulation is the physiological process by which one can maintain their body temperature by the process of thermogenesis and thermolysis. We know camel is a thermoregulator or homeothermic animal. That means they can maintain their body temperature relatively constant with respect to the fluctuating temperature of the environment. They can do this by balancing thermogenesis and thermolysis. Thermogenesis means a process by which the heat can be generated inside the body. That means temperature can be raised by this. And thermolysis is the process by which heat can be lost from the body. That means falling down of temperature. Now come to the context of candle. Come on to my whiteboard animation. Let's start the topic thermoregulation in camel. Suppose this is the camel and it maintains its body temperature at 41 degree centigrade during the daytime and almost 34 degree centigrade over the night. And we know that the atmospheric temperature in the desert is 46 degree centigrade on an average. That is, the temperature of the surrounding atmosphere of the camel is much more greater than that of their bodies. So, the heat can be passed inside the bodies of the camels from the surroundings by basically three ways. One is the radiation, second conduction, third convection. Ultimately, the camels gains the heat from the atmosphere. Now the camel has two options to regulate their body temperature. Option number one, thermolysis. And option number two, prevention of heat entry. Now let's see how the camel manages this situation or solves these problems. Mind that camels are well adapted to manage these problems. Adaptation occurs anatomically, morphologically and physiologically. I am discussing those adaptations one by one. Number one is the large body size. Large body mass heats up much more slowly and enlarge body surface loss more heat by radiation. Number two, nostril. The slit-like closable nostril protects against blowing sand. When the camel exhales, water vapor becomes trapped in their nostril and is reabsorbed into the body to conserve water. Thermolysis means the loss of heat from the body. Now I am discussing some physiological adaptations of camel. First one is the huge sweating. They do not sweat till high temperature is reached. But after reaching a very high temperature, they start to sweat. Huge rate of sweating occurs. Even they loss 25% of the body weight due to sweating. Suppose one camel weighs 100 kg and it can loss its body weight up to 25 kg. That is, after sweating, its body weight will be 100 minus 25 equals to 75 kg. Now, see one thing. This sweating creates a new problem of the camels. That is, deficiency of water. I repeat, 
deficiency of water so they need to conserve the water in their bodies now a question arises in your mind that is what are their adaptations to conserve the water inside their bodies well i'm explaining it let's see the different ways or different adaptations of camel for the water conservation number one is the hypertonic urine formation it is said that their urine is much more concentrated than the sea water i hope that you can realize the concentration of their urine now come to the next point that is decreased ammonia formation ammonia formation become decreased since ammonia requires more water for the elimination from the body through urine so their urine contains less ammonia actually this is due to the presence of long renal tubule so this is the one mode of water conservation within the body of camel as their urine contains less water so their urine becomes alkaline now come to the third point that is long upper respiratory tract this minimizes the loss of water through the expired air now come to the second point of the thermolysis that is the vasodilation this increases the peripheral blood flow resulting the heat loss now i am coming to the third point of the process of thermolysis that is the increased cardiac output we know cardiac output is the volume of blood pumped by the heart in a minute if the left ventricle of the heart contracts more then the cardiac output will be increased resulting more circulation in the blood through the circulatory system that is this increased cardiac output also increases the peripheral blood flow ultimately enhances the heat loss lastly i discuss the fourth point of the process of thermolysis that is the respiratory alkalosis what is it explaining that respiratory alkalosis occurs when one breathes too fast and too deep and the carbon dioxide level of the blood becomes too low causing the increased ph of the blood that is the blood becomes alkaline this indicates the low amount of oxygen in the blood for which the metabolic rate will be decreased as a result less energy or the less heat is produced and more heat is lost due to the fast and deep breathing that is the thermolysis now come to the second option that is prevention of heat entry in camels i'm discussing the adaptations for the purpose one by one point number 1 that is thick body coat a camel has a body coat of several centimeters thick which gives it a good protection against the heat gain by radiation from the surroundings then point number 2 that is condensed fur condensed fur it has the role for the same and then the last point that is third one height their long legs makes the their height tough this is much advantageous for protecting heat gaining their heights facilitated them to hold their bodies from the hot sand this is all about the thermoregulation in camel i hope that this discussion may be helpful to you okay today's session is over no more today thank you thank you all namaskar